So, who remembers the old Loop Cycle album Blueprints? Still got one here in the cellophane. Um, this vlog, what is it? I've got the, the, the mug on my computer. My, this is number nine. Loop vlog number nine. And what I'm doing at the moment, or what Loop Cycle is doing, remember, he's not me, I'm just his human host. Uh -huh. When the hat goes on, that's when he infuses me with his loopiness. Then I can be um, said to be Loop Cycle at that point. But, uh, yeah, um, what, what he's doing at the moment, it's difficult keeping this up, is, um, <clears throat> be recording blueprints. Why? Why would you do that, I hear you ask? Because it wasn't, well, I listen to it now, and some of it, I just feel, needs to be a bit different. I want to update it so I can use it for stuff like, uh, submit it for stuff on the radio, adverts, things like this, all that kind of thing. Uh, I, I want to up the quality of some of the, the, the songs and I want to improve the beatbox sounds on some of it. Now what was done back then, ten years ago now, um, was far more basic kind of beatbox stuff. It did have its own character though to it, so I'm not <laughs> getting rid of it entirely. At some point it is used like as backing parts and things like that, or it's mixed in there. But generally, lots of new beatbox parts will go on this new version of, of Blueprints, an updated version of it. Um, the speed of the songs on it, some of them uh, have scope to be a fair bit faster. Um, as it is at the moment, it's very much of what a lot of people would call a chill-out kind of um, thing, kind of album, a bit sleepy in places, so I wanted to do another version of it which is a bit more lively as well, um, I still like the old version as well, but you have to be kind of in the right frame of mind to listen to it, in a slower sort of frame of mind I think to appreciate it. I want to do, want to do a quicker version, um, and yeah, to update the sounds on it, and um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else I was going to say about it, to be honest. But that's pretty much the, the gist of it. Um, it's taken a while. I'm four songs in. I've got up to Let Her Fade, which hasn't really much needed much doing to it so far. But I have, have remixed a lot of it. I've put different compression on it. I've put different um, EQ on it to, to a certain extent here and there. Uh, and I have put a beatbox part on it also. It did not have one before. Whether I stick with that, I don't know. It's a funny time sim signature. I think it's just 3-4, if I not remember. Uh, I've just been working on it, but pfft, bollocks to memory. Um, yeah, but one of the beats kind of seems a bit swung in it, so it's not quite bang on the mark. Um, I don't know, I don't know how it works. It's, it's a funny one. Um, but I'll be doing that. I've been working on the older version of Fusion Reactor. Don't look down. It's going to be like three versions of that in total. Um, depending, yeah, I suppose, the three versions on Edge Game. But you know, they're, they're kind of similar with bits added. But yeah. Um, and then uh, I'm probably going to go with a what do you call it? A uh, subscription-based model for releasing stuff. I've been looking into that and. I'd like to try to get that set up. I've got a couple of years worth of music, at, at least, probably more, if I released one thing, like one song a month. Um, so, yeah, I could do a sub subscription kind of thing, um, or pay, people could pay out right as well for tracks as well. Uh, another idea I've got is using the streaming services but, I mean, you all probably know I've got a bit of a problem with a lot of them, because I think they treat musicians like shit to start with, but that's just the start of it. There's far more to that, but can they work for me? Can I get them working for me in a way that benefits me? Now I'm thinking they do, they can drive traffic places, but 
if it's just driving it to the stream meeting and giving away the finished thing then you aren't going to get anything from it at the end of the day people are just going to start getting everything for free and musicians are going to stop because <laughs> they won't be able to well they won't be able to do it professionally that's for sure quality will go down creativeness will go down people won't have enough time for it I'm finding that already my time is limited if this doesn't work so I'm doing my best but the idea with the streaming thing is to possibly upload shorter versions of the songs I'm talking like a fair bit shorter one or two minutes it's not quite just a taster it's a little bit more it could be seen as a shortened version of the completed song but then with some kind of link in the description or possibly saying on it I don't know, I don't know how it would work but something linking to where you can get the full song from um, that seems a more inclusive way for me of doing it then everyone gets a little bit something people who want to support it can support it and actually get something for supporting it as a reward for doing so um, so I know people like to think that everyone's going to be nice and support you and pay for things if they can and, and that things will lead somewhere but my experience in the industry over these last I can't remember how long 20, 25 years, something like that I've seen where it's, what, how it's gone I've seen how stuff's drying up people are stopping doing it because they can't afford to anymore you know, I'm hearing people every day saying that um, you know, not get not getting paid for recorded music, not getting paid for live music. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people who disagree with me on this, fallen out with people over it before. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not getting so het up about it. Um, but I still think well, that's where it's going, and we're in a kind of race to the bottom with it. But it's a case of. Well, you've put me in this situation. I've got to try to do what I can do to make it work. I don't like being here. I would like to cooperate with people. I would like to be on musician side and all this, and be more cooperative with the the whole thing and not be basing each other to nowhere. But you know, here I am. It wasn't my choice to be here. I've tried to get people together, work this stuff out. They didn't want it, you know. So. At one point it looked like I was never going to play a gig in Lincoln again because of it. Because somehow it pissed people off. But um, maybe it's how I went about it. Maybe it went about it the wrong way. Uh, I don't want to get into another rant about it. Um, but there we go. Yeah, my intention was to, to help and to avoid what is now happening in the music industry. It started way before I even moaned about it back then. Uh, and it's, it's going on like that, but there we are. Anyway, I've kind of got off subject with this. I don't know if I'll upload this one or not. These are supposed to be quite candid, unedited, get people interested, get people talking, connect with people. Bit of an outlet for me to let you know what's going on behind the scenes with it all, how it works. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I don't know. I think that's all we've got to say for now. I better go outside and chop me some wood because being a poor musician, I can't afford much in the way of heating and things, so I have to chop wood uh, for my stove, which to some people is a bit of a kind of statement and <laughs> luxury having a stove. For me, it's what it actually is a primary heat source. So that's what I'm going to do now. Wind, 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 poor musician, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I can turn it around yet. <laughs> Dead in the ditch in a box by next week. <laughs> anyway, right. Bit of a long one I think this has been. Forgive my ranting. I hope I've been a bit more to the point than it seems I've been. <laughs> oh, yeah, see you next time. Bye for now.